Alright, it's really cold. Uh, it's supposed to be down in the negative temperatures tomorrow. It's like negative three. Uh, I'm going to make a uh, rocket stove out of this. It's a piece of a trailer. Bought it for 30 bucks. I'm going to use uh, this uh, as part of the rocket stove and then uh, these pieces here with this nice radius on it. I'm going to make a squat rack out of those. Squat rack with the top of it is going to be a chin up bar. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. That's um, what I'm going to use there. I'm going to use this propane tank and that propane tank. Uh, that's going to be uh, a hopper basically for the wood. I'm going to build this uh, kind of like a gasification. So this is going to be a rocket stove that has a gasification chamber. So if you guys are interested in wood gas and things like that, that's what uh, I'm using that propane cylinder for. It's going to be the gasification chamber. This is going to be the chute here for the fire. Then uh, it's going to be the riser. And uh, I've got another uh, another design I'm tinkering with where it heats water on the inside of the riser. I'm pretty sure I've got one of the coolest wives in the world. She let me put this in the house today to tinker with it. And I, let me show you what's cool about this. The way I've got this stove designed is it burns upside down. It does uh, gasification, so the wood gasifies in this cylinder. Then it goes through a process called polyglythic distillation. In that chamber, that much wood will burn for about three hours on this stove. So, pretty cool. I mean, that's just some stuff I picked up out in the yard. This thing will also burn uh, any type of biomass, it will burn really well, or it will gasify really well. So, and this is where everything really starts to come alive. It's got up to temperature. Let me show you if I can get you to zoom in on this thermometer. Right now it's at 212. Wood's starting to gas fine, starting to ignite inside. Cylinder here. It's around. It's not too awful bad. Very, very top. This is, I put some water up here just to see how much of the water, since water soaks heat really well. See how it done with the temperature of the heat. See, water is soaking the heat and it's turning into vapor. That should actually be the hottest part of the fire, but it's not because the water is uh, absorbing the heat. And here's what's cool. It's what's the absolute coolest thing about this. This pretty stable temperature, even though the other temperature is raising. This is what's cool. See that? It's absolutely cool. At full temperature, and this is a single wall pipe, full temperature. It will stay about 70 degrees. Okay, after this thing burns, this is what you have. This is called biochar. It's just uh, charcoal. And it's just all, there's no organic material left. It's just, uh, just carbon. So all that you're left with is the carbon out of the wood. And uh, this biochar actually sells pretty uh 
that one didn't didn't all the all the way gasify, but this is a really green piece of wood that's harder to gasify than uh, dry wood that was fresh cut from a uh, a tree. But it was beauty. Um, so that's what's left over.